This is Micah 4 and 5. For all the people will walk, everyone in the name of his God. And we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. Kal Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kodash. Double honest to the opposing elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations to the brothers on down, teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to the four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune into these video epistles. I've called this lesson this morning. There's one truth. No remixes. That's right. And whether you accept it or not, there's just one power. His name is Yahweh. That's his Hebrew name. Meaning he is. He to be. The existing one, his only begotten son, is Yahweh Shai. It means he's our savior, redeemer. He's purchased us back to the power of his blood. That's the only sacrifice that was accepted. And so he now is our high priest and mediator in the heavens. That's our power. They've given us by words, us who are the children of Israel, his people. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the dispersed, the diaspora. We've now outgrown all these lies. We know who we are. All this, the, the black and white and all this. Your color is not your nationality. So we've outgrown all the lies of this man. What man? It's the one who's currently in rulership. It's that fourth kingdom. Whether you accept it or not, some people just can't bring themselves to acknowledge. Who is it that is running the earth? It's the extension of this Roman Empire. Calling himself, going around with the, our book, calling himself the white man. It's rubbish. He's the Edomite in the scriptures. We know who you are. So all those who can't bring themselves to uh, uh, understand and accept their spirit, they just are blocked from this truth. They're looking for some other person to come and say, oh, look, my name is the Antichrist. Absolute nonsense. This man has been peddling lies with all his witchcraft and sorcery. A dumbed down version of our book. So there's no, remember back in the day we used to have these, um, I don't know if they still have it, you'd get these records, you know, the old vinyl records, and you could get all these different versions sometimes on one, uh, one record. You'd have a, a different version, a dub version of the song, and then a radio version, a party version, an R&B version, etc., etc. All these different versions of the truth. But the scripture is telling us there's only one truth. Just one. And all the rest are lies and deceit. It's a fraud. Got you all trapped up in his madness. The scripture tells us to seek the old paths. You're going to be reconciled. Not going to be reconciled with some new thing that's just started. No, you're going to be reconciled to what was before. That old contract between the children of Israel with Moses being the mediator and our power, who is Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Let's get something on reconciliation, uh, Corinthians. my markers here let's see Corinthians 5 let's get a few verses here 18 and 19 and all things are of the most high who hath reconciled us us who it's the children of Israel reconcile re meaning back consile back in the favor of you can't get back to something that was not it had nothing to do with you. The other nations are not involved in this truth. Those fighting to get them back in it, they're lost and they're rejected. That's why they can't see the truth. And it's been on brothers from the top all the way down to just to say, look, just leave these people alone. The ones that are going back and forth, back and forth with the scripture. Over here it says this. Oh, I don't believe. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Leave them alone. They're the rejected, the most high. Don't want them. And all things are of our power who has reconciled us, the children of Israel, to himself by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and has given us to the ministry of reconciliation. That's what this ministry is all about. Get back to where you were. You belong to me. Come back. 
come back. To wit that the Most High was in Yahweh Shai reconciling the world unto himself, not in putting their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. That's the ministry right there. Let's read those two verses again. And all things are of the Most High, who have reconciled us to himself by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and had given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that the Most High was in Yahweh Shai, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation, back in the favor of our power, whose name is Yahweh, by Hashem means in the name Yahweh Shai. That's our power right there. Uh, Hebrews 2, 17. I think it's going to get 16 and 17. For verily he took on him the nature, not the nature of angels. See? He's not the son of Gabriel. That's foolishness. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Out of a man's seed. That's the truth. You can't accept it. Keep it moving. Cling to your rubbish that you've been fed. That's been beaten into you. If you haven't broken out of it. It's because the Most High don't want you. Stick with it. We're moving on. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest. In things pertaining to the Most High. To make what? Reconciliation for the sins of the people. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. I think that's First John Four and three or three and four. And who was given them this word? Psalms 147, 19 and 20. When you read the scriptures, it comes together. If you can't see it, you're not supposed to see it. You're blinded. We could just call a spade a spade. It is what it is. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Everyone is in their lot. Uh, Zephaniah. 3 and 9, for then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord. It's all caps, that means it's Yahweh. To serve him with one consent. So his name is back in the earth. But it's not given to everyone. So those who are fine, they say, oh, where does it say that? Oh, it doesn't mean that. Look at this scripture over here. You can keep moving. This is not for you. Isaiah 19 and 18. In that day, what day? Now shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. What's the language of Canaan? A quick Google search will tell you. It's the Hebrew tongue. That's the tongue that Yahweh Shai spoke to Paul in when he knocked him off his horse. And Paul, who was still Saul at the time, because who is this? What's going on here? And Yahweh Shai spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. In ancient Hebrew, there's no O, E, O, U, and V, J, just only the last since 1524. So what language does he speak to? The word that's in here is not that, that's not his name, it's Yahweh Shai. That's a pure language, that's a pure tongue. You don't accept it, keep it moving, no problem. John 17 and 6, I have manifested, made known the name Thy name unto the men which thou gavest me, this red letter, how shall I speaking, out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. I think we want to jump around here, 11 and 12. And now, I'm no, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Think that we don't know his name. That they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled, referring to Judas Iscariot. We're focusing on this truth. One truth, one name, it's one people, one power that is in the scriptures. And we're coming back. We know who we are now. One, four, eight. 
Psalms 148, verse 13, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. We read Micah before. Let's go to uh, Zechariah. Zechariah 14 and 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord. And what? And his name one. No remixes. Just one. And if we're going to get James. I still get James, I think. Let's look at this pure language here. Pure doctrine. James 1. Yes. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. See? It's people doing their own thing. They've got all these strange breakdowns. As the scripture refers to in part, uh, uh, wine. They've got their own philosophies, their own doctrines. That is more suitable, more pleasing. The palate is easy more to accept it. Pure religion and undefiled before the Most High and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. And how is that happening? It's happening by this word going out in all the various formats. Sit-downs and uh, videos, uh, uh, whichever way it's able to get out there. It's happening. Those who can go on the streets, they're on the streets. Those who, whichever way you can support the ministry, it's happening. People are being visited with this word. Right throughout the scripture. Let's get our last reading here from the Apocrypha few verses here in Baruch who was the scribe for uh, Baruch who was the scribe for uh, Jeremiah 3 Baruch 3 let's go from 36 33 to 36 he that sendeth forth light and it goeth call it again and it obeyeth him with fear the stars shine in their watches and rejoice when he calleth them, they say, here we be. And so, with cheerfulness, they showed light unto him that made them. This is our power, whose name is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. Let's read that again. The stars shine in their watches and rejoice. When he calleth them, they say, here we be. They don't say, oh, we'll be there in a minute. We're doing something. We're, we're, no, here we be. And so with cheerfulness, they showed light unto him that made them. This is our power. And there shall none other. This is our power. And there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. He had found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. No one else is involved in these things. You've got these uh, Christians jumping up and down when they hear that they are the people. They're fighting against their own inheritance, their own heritage. They're blocked from this truth. Uh, Isaiah 6 and 9, it says, And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of these people fat. Heart that's lab in the Hebrew for mind. They can't perceive the truth. They can't accept it. And make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes lest they see with their ears. And hear with their... See with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And understand with their heart. And convert. And be healed. And it was repeated again. David said that same thing, let their tables become a snare. And Yahweh said it again in Matthew 13. It's throughout the Gospels. Where's a set of people blocked? He's only here for his the elect, the elect of the house of Israel. So I refer to ourselves as the hopeful elect. We're hoping, hoping, hoping that we are of that number. You've been listening to There's One Truth. No remixes. Shalom. Until the next one.